everyone. So I'm going to show you how to create a drag and drop activity for your students in this video. Um, a lot of teachers have drag and drop activities that they either have the student cut and then glue. But if we're going digital, we're not going to be able to do that. So you want to be able to create those same engaging activities for your students just digitally. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a new Google slide. You're going to do all of your work in the Google slides um, because that way you can have um, items off to the side that they can move on in. So the second thing you're going to want to do is make this your template, the page to be um, to be a little smaller. So that way you have some work on the side that you can put your dragging um, items in. So I always like to use a 10 by 10 or an 8 by 8. So if you go to File, Page Setup, go to Custom, and I'm going to change it to 10 by 10 inches and hit Apply. And see how it made it a little bit smaller so I have some more gray space off to the side? Um, this is just a good way to have your things, um, like your um, dragging options, over on the side so that way they're not taking up your space on your page. Now, the next thing you want to do is figure out what worksheets that you kind of want to um, be a guide to your drag and drop. And so the one that I found, I want to do kind of like a cut and paste alphabet match um, for younger students to find the um, capitalized A and then find the lowercase a and match the A's together. So this is kind of one that I'm going to go off of and create for y'all today. So the first thing you're going to do is go back to your um, Google Slides and you're going to want to make this title or a title of your um, page. So I'm going to go to insert word art, not diagram, sorry, insert word art, and I'm going to go cut and paste alphabet matching. There we go. I'm going to delete these boxes so I don't have those anymore. So I can just work with a clean slate. So there's my cut and paste alphabet matching right there. Now you can change the font. So I'm going to change it to my favorite, which is mouse memoirs. And then I'm going to change the color. I'm just going to do it red. So it's kind of bright and ready to go. Okay. So that looks pretty, pretty good. Now I want to add in the boxes like it shows on here. So I'm going to do that by inserting a shape. And you could choose any shape. You don't have to use the box. Um, you can even choose to do a heart for your shape that they have to move it in. Um, but I'm going to choose this one, this square right here. So it kind of looks um, kind of cool in 3D. And you can change the color of this shape. You can change the light, um, the outline of the shape. So there's my shape right there. I'm actually going to change it to be transparent so that it has the shape. I don't like the look of that, so I'm going to go back and change the shape to be like that. There we go. And I'm going to put transparent. I'm going to make the line a little thicker with the border width. There we go. Now, once you get your um, shape. You want to duplicate these to be all of the amounts that you want to have so they're all the same. So you're going to just control D, control D, control D, control D until you get the amount that you want um, of this shape. So I'm just going to move them over to be like six like this. Oh, I need to duplicate one more. Control D. There we go. Now you'll just line them up so they're all the same across the side, just like that. Now you want to get, if we go back here, you want to get these letters to go off to the side. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go to insert word art again. And I'm going to start with my A. There's my A. I want to get my A all ready to go. So I am going to choose the fonts. I'm going to choose the color. Let's choose green. Ooh, I like that green. Okay. And once you get your font all ready in this letter, I want to be able to duplicate this as well so it looks the same across the entire page. So you're just going to control D as many times as you need. Move the A's over to where you need them to be. Just like that. 
I got too crazy with my A's. There we go. Now to change the letter inside, you're just going to double click and change the letter. So there's my B, there's my C, there's my D, there's my, oop, there's my E, and there's my F right there. Okay. So now the next thing that you want to do, if you have all of this done, you can change the background of this as well by going to background, choosing an image or changing the color if you want. So I'm going to just type in um, light color background because I don't want it to take away from um, the worksheet. So I'm just going to choose, let's see what this one looks like. Okay, so now I might need to change the color on here so that way it stands out. There we go. I'll just change the colors of my um, of my letters so it stands out just a little bit more with the background, but I like that background. Okay, so once you get all of this changed to the way that you want, to looking good and you're satisfied with it, before you even start um, working on your outsides, you don't want your, or your drag and drop activity, you do not want your students to be able to come in and delete items. And then they'll say, oh, I don't have that. You want it to just be kind of like a worksheet where they, where they cannot delete anything. So to make this the background of a slide, you're just gonna go to File, Publish to the Web, or actually, I'm sorry, Download, and you're gonna download either as a JPEG or a PNG. I'm going to download as my PNG. You're going to add a new slide and all you're going to do is drag that PNG image up. It's already the same size and now students cannot delete this background or all of these letters because this is one picture. So this just helps for um, keeping things on the page. So now we need to create our drag and drop items and we want to drag and drop the smaller lowercase letters of each. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna just add a shape. So let me create a shape. I'm gonna do a circle, okay? And then you can change the color of the circle however you want. Let's change it to an orange, there we go. And then you're gonna double click inside and put that letter. And you're gonna have to make the letters bigger than that. There we go. I'm gonna make it in the center. So I'm gonna go over to my alignment, put it in the center. I'm gonna change the font. There we go. And there's my drag and drop. So if you're once you're satisfied with your drag and drop material, you're gonna just duplicate it the same as you did for the one that we did for the background. And you'll just make all of your drag and drops and move them around so that way all the students can see it. And then you'll just Click, double click inside and change the letters to what you want them to be. There you go. Okay. So now you have all of your drag and drop material. You can also add a text box on your side um, right here. So if you insert a text box, you can drag a text box and you can add in your directions. Make it a little bigger so y'all can see. You can add in your directions um, for students so that way they can see what they need to do. So you could say directions, drag and drop the lowercase letter to match the uppercase letter, okay? Now for younger students, they might not be able to read this directions. So you might need to create some sort of video um, that has directions on there. You can actually insert audio. So if you just wanted to insert audio that you've downloaded um, to your Google Drive, you can insert an audio um, that says, ha drag and drop the lowercase letter to match the uppercase letter. You can create a um, an audio as well for that. So students can just click that and say that's the directions. So now students can just drag over all of the letters to match the certain uppercase letter that they're trying to match. So this was just a simple um, way to create a drag and drop activity from the worksheets that we had, which was the cut and paste, but now it is digital. I hope this helps you. Bye.